Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom Stiles Stories Radio Room Show number 150. And this is the QSO, dated 9, 10, 13. Okay, I need any input. I, I really messed up. So I need your input. I, as you know from a couple of shows ago, or maybe it was the last show, I got um, three antennas from MFJ for my Bofang radio. And I need to test them. And I'm trying to figure out a way to test them. Now I've watched a bunch of videos on YouTube and people uh, typically uh, tune a station and uh, listen like uh, WWV at uh, 162 something. Uh, and change antennas and see once one gives them a strong signal. <sighs> not very scientific. Uh, and it's plus it's not on the band you're going to transmit on, which is what you really want to know is how is it going to work on 440 and uh, 70 centimeters. I mean, uh, two meters. Two meters and 440. Right, anyway. So anyway, I, that's what you want to know, is, is which the antenna is the best antenna. So I've been trying to come up with a way of testing it. Well, one thing that I can test, and I don't know if I can test it very well, is the how well these are tuned, the SWR, or standing wave ratio. And of course, you want that number to be as small as possible, down to 1.0, um, that tells you the antenna is tuned at that particular frequency. And it'll vary over frequency, of course, because it's a compromise. So I've been trying, I ordered an adapter to, let me take this apart for a second, to adapt this SMA connector that's on the antenna to my antenna analyzer, which has 259 connector. And uh, the closest thing I could find, and I, I know what I really want, is probably there, but I didn't choose that, is, and let me take this apart, is this little guy right here. This is what I ordered. It's a SMA to a B and C. And I thought I had an adapter that would go from B and C to the 259 that's on my analyzer. I don't. So, and I happened to find this one, so I didn't have to wait for the one I ordered to come in, because it won't be in for another three weeks. So I thought I was, when I first found this, I thought I was home free. So I put that on the antenna, and it fits just right. Everything's hunky-dory. So then, I found my, what I thought was the right adapter to adapt to this BNC, whoops, fall on the floor there, BNC to a 259, like that. Unfortunately, it's the wrong gender. That's a female, and that's a female, they're not going to connect. But, because I've got a whole bunch of adapters, never have the right one. I have a male-to-male -male adapter. It's okay, so I put that on there, and now this guy will fit on my analyzer, like so. Okay, but and of course this analyzer—it's an MFJ antenna analyzer. And the only thing it will give you, it will give you SWR, which is what I was talking about a few minutes ago, and it will give you the resistance measured at any given frequency. You can dial in the frequency. But, as you can see, I've got one, two, three, three adapters. And I think I remember when I did my, did my, M radio exam, which was 40 years ago, I think it was kind of a rule of thumb that every time you went through a 
connector or adapter, you lost 3 dB. So, since I'm not measuring power gain or loss or whatever, I'm measuring SWR, which is kind of a measure of power out versus, uh, versus reflected power. I don't know how well this is going to tell me the information I want to know, which is how good the antenna is going to work when I'm transmitting a receiver. So this, this may be a worthless test. Partly because I got so many adapters, and partly because I'm only measuring SWR is all I'm measuring. But SWR is a good in, indication of how well an antenna is going to work. Because if it has a best, a, a bad SWR, it's not going to work very well. Even if it has gain or no gain, it's not going to work very well. So it's one indication. So what I'm looking for is inputs on how I should test these antennas. I got these antennas now, and I just got a new one in. This is the one I ordered from Amazon. I just got this one in. It's a NAGOYA model number NA701. I'd seen a lot of reviews about this antenna, and it seemed to be pretty good among other ones. And it's a reasonable length. It's not super long like some of the other ones I got. So I bought this. So I've got this antenna. I got the three from EMFJ, and I got the original antenna that came with the radio. And I want to, you know, find out which the best one giving, you know, compromises. I, you know, maybe the real tall one is better for reception and transmission, but it's too tall. And this one, which is shorter, maybe is almost as good and not so tall, but better than the original. So that's the kind of things I want to investigate. And the question is, how do I scientifically, at least some resemblance of scientifically, test these guys other than just going outside and trying to hit a repeater? Which, that's one way to do it. But of course, uh, the repeater operator is not too happy when you sit there and conjunct the machine. And I wouldn't conjunct the machine. I'd give my, you know, call letters, but I'd be sitting there. Um, my call letter, trying another antenna, my call letters. And of course, the good thing is, or I don't know if it's a good thing or not, is repeaters are almost never used around here. So they're always quiet. So if somebody goes on there and start testing, that'd probably be the most activity they've had all year. So that's not a bad thing. And I will do that too. But I'm just trying to see if using my analyzer with all these adapters is worth even fooling with. Now the other thing I could do is do some more searching on Amazon to see if I can find the correct adapter so I only have one adapter and eliminate all these other adapters. That's the other thing I do. Of course that would probably come from Hong Kong and it'll probably take another month to get. So, so that's where I'm at. Um, I'm looking for inputs so please you got any inputs, if you've done testing yourself and you have a method that you like, please leave a comment or better yet, send me an email. Just, you know, you can go to my YouTube channel page and there's a place here where you can send me a message and it goes right to me. I get a notification and I get it instantly. So that's what I need. Um, I don't want to start this testing until I've thought it out and I appreciate any help you can give me. That's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay.